am I the asshole for not wanting to date a police officer? Mrs. Officer. Uh, <laughs> I would say you're not the asshole for not wanting to date a cop. Yeah, I agree. And after we got done, <laughs> I said, lady, what's your number? I said, 911. <laughs> Emergency only. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. That's uh, a goaded album. Not one miss on that album. Mm, facts. <laughs> uh, trigger warning for this oh, one, though. Oh, boy. For stalking. Oh, don't tell me they're using the resources. Uh, but yes, trigger warning for stalking for this story. If that's something you don't want to hear, feel free to skip ahead to the next story. All right. So I didn't know whether to post this on legal advice because I'm not sure it's gotten to that level yet. Two months ago, there was a domestic dispute in my building. I, 22 female, was coming home when I noticed two police officers waiting for the elevator. I would have waited for the next one, but we only have two elevators and one was broken. I rode up with the officers and was surprised to see that we had all gotten off of the same floor, which was mine. Apparently, the disturbance was the unit next to mine. I've only lived there for three months, so I don't know any of my neighbors. I didn't think too much of it at the time, and I went to, into my unit and closed the door. About 30 minutes later, I hear a knock at my door. It was one of the police officers that I had ridden up with on the elevator. He asked me to open the door, but I was hesitant, so I asked if we could just talk through the closed door. He showed me his badge through the peephole to, I guess, make me feel safer, but that didn't help. He told me that he needed to see my identification because I might be a witness to what occurred in the unit next to mine. Which is wild because you're also riding up with them to the scene yeah. of the crime. <laughs> she got there yeah. when you got there, buddy. So yeah. how would you be a... That's power tripping to me. A-C-A-B. Also, also, I don't think you legally have to... Show no, you need to like a search warrant, don't you? I mean, yeah, I yeah, especially at your own home. At your own home, you're not doing anything. Shit. Fuck them. Uh, I told him that I saw nothing, so I wouldn't be a big help. He told me that I either talk to him now or I have to go down to the police station in the morning, which could take all day. I'm a student and I couldn't take off the whole day to talk about an incident, so I agreed. He didn't come inside my place. We chatted at my door. He asked for my ID, so I gave him my driver's license. He wrote down my information, my number as well, and told me he would be in contact. Two days later, I spotted him at my building after coming home from class. He asked me how my neighbors were doing, and I said fine, and then he tried to get into my building. He stopped me and said that he thought he, had, he and I had chemistry the night we met, and he asked nah, me out. Nah, nah. Yeah. Nah. While on duty? He doing this shit while on duty? Uh, at least in uniform, it sounds like. Motherfucker, stop wasting fucking resources to be doing this shit. Taxpayer dollars, yeah. I told him that I had a boyfriend, which was a lie, and I sidestepped him into my building. The next day, I get a call from my grandmother. She tells me that a nice police officer came by and was asking very personal questions about me. The person she describes sounds exactly like the police officer who asked me out. My license has my grandmother's address. I was living with her before, and I haven't had the time to go and change it. At this point, I was freaking out. I told her not to talk to him and to not answer the door if he comes back. Two weeks ago, I'm walking home from class, and I jaywalk to get into my building. Oh, don't tell me you pulled her over. I hear someone calling my name, so I turn around, and it's the police officer again. He tells me that he could find me for jaywalking because it's illegal, but he won't if I go out with him. Find me, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm taking Bro, that fine. The way, <laughs> get this fool's Find fucking me, badge man. number, man. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know. Maybe I'm just. They're probably going to be friends with everyone else that's there. That's what shit. I'm fucking saying, Something. Bro. Yeah. And also, that might just be my own bias. Uh, but it's just, I don't know. Like, this yeah. is like power dynamics to a T. Like, like who power do you talk? Power tripping everything. Bro. Yeah. Well, he's literally blackmailing you to go out with him. Yes. Gross. He said that he would hold off on the jaywalking ticket, but not for long. It's been a few weeks since that confrontation, but I see him pretty often. I live in a safe neighborhood, but he seems to always be parked near my school or apartment building. I'm on a student visa. I'm Canadian. I can't afford to have a ticket on my record, but I'm also very worried that this police officer will escalate the situation if I don't go out with him. 
I told one of my closest friends about this, and she told me that what the police officer was doing was romantic and that I'm an asshole for not going out with him. So am I Get a new friend. Yes. A goddamn new friend. Tell her to go out with him. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, romantic. So am I the asshole? No. And I'm scared for OP. Very much so. Who are you going to go to? The cops who are all friends with this cop? Yeah. And people are like, why don't people trust the cops? People like this fucking idiot. This. (laughs) What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. It's disgusting um it's 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 almost horror movie-esque you know what i mean like yes. this could be like small town police officer stalks young girl like that's a that's a horror movie in the making i'm tripping about this friend too romantic uh, the way i would cut yeah. off this friend what so the fast. fuck are you talking about yeah i think your friend i'm scared needs- for my life that's kind of what romance, romance. is <laughs> shut your bitch ass up what the fuck are you talking about i think op's friend needs therapy to really figure out what a a healthy what rom- relationship like what romantic is, is. <laughs> yeah. the fuck crazy um yeah reddit deem not the asshole obviously you know m- many people were sympathetic in the comments uh and op gave us an update three days later so i just wanted to start off by thanking those who responded to my latest post most of you were very sympathetic and stressed out that i needed to do something because this wasn't going to resolve itself on its own Honestly, I didn't realize it had gotten so bad until I read my own post. LOL. I got a few horrible DMs after I posted a few days ago, so I hid out for a while. I didn't want to be too specific in my last post, but I realized my vagueness made it harder for people to give me advice. I don't understand who was giving Why would you DM them negative shit? What the fuck is wrong with you people sometimes? I don't understand. Internet fucking sucks ass. I mean, we all know that. (laughs) Yeah. Now we get it, man. Um... So I'm located on the East Coast in a small co- uh, college town with under 50,000 people. There are less than 60 police officers. From social media accounts, I was able to find two other police officers who are brother and cousin and shared the last name of the, the officer who had been begging me to date him. Mm-hmm. That's why you, you probably can't report, which sucks. Yeah. I first interacted with the police officer in late March slash early April. So this has been going on for a couple months now. Damn. Some of you were concerned about my grandmother after the officer paid her a visit. She moved out in May, which is why I moved out. She lives in a senior's home hours away from me now, so she's fine. The campus is pretty much empty now that spring semester finished in April. My friends are gone. The only reason I stayed for the summer was because I secured a research, a student research position, which I'm kicking myself for staying now, but there's no way I would pass up on this opportunity. The morning after I wrote the post, the officer came knocking on my door. He kept singing my name while he knocked, which was really creepy. Hell, oh yeah, hell no! no. Like that's horror movie. Like that—that's just straight out of a a a slasher film. This should be like our slash. Let's not meet. God, it should be. Honestly, you're right. Can you like record all this and like take pictures of him everywhere? Like. Yeah. On your route and shit. Or, or is it possible great. to like lawyer up and get something done at least? Yeah. Um, she says, I didn't answer. He came back a few li- hours later. I'm ashamed to say that I hid in my apartment until Monday morning. I was planning on calling the domestic abuse line in my area, which was a great suggestion some of you gave, but I think his visit frazzled me. He had never gone as far as to knock on my door again after that first night we had met. So I'm wondering if he actually read the post yeah, or found it somehow. You know what I mean? I mean, the way he's using all these resources to like get a hold of her, I would not, you know, discount that idea at all. Yeah. I walked to campus yesterday morning and I was still really scared and alert. I ran into one of my professors from last semester and she could see that I wasn't okay. So she took me to her office. It all came tumbling out after that. I told her everything about what had been happening and she was super sympathetic. I told her the officer's name, and she didn't look surprised at all. According to her, he's done this before to multiple women. Hell, and he's still employed. And this is why people don't trust the goddamn police. Yep. Some women have filed complaints, but nothing has happened because his dad is very well connected. Oh. The officer has a pattern of escalating once complaints are filed. I told my professor that I was planning on seeking out the victim advocacy group but she cautioned me against it. 
Apparently, when spring semester ends, a lot of people take the summer off, and the offices are staffed with locals. The sister of the officer that has been harassing me currently works at the one I was thinking of calling. Bro. Uh, She stayed with me while I called another advocacy group a bit further out. She also connected me to a lawyer just in case, also out of town. The professor got her son, 23 male, to walk with me from campus. I felt guilty about that, but he said he was glad to help. My professor told me that the officer targets women who live alone slash seem to be alone all the time, which is definitely me this summer. Fucking predator, dude. This will be my last update, but I just wanted to thank everyone for giving me the strength to tell someone. Dude, I have like literal chills. Yeah. I'm scared for OP. uh, Like exactly what Sean was saying this whole time. It's like, this is why people don't trust cops in many scenarios because they just get bailed out by family. And if it's not family, it's, uh, you know, other cops who are willing to It always just makes me so sick. Whenever cops do terrible things and the other cops aren't immediately like, yo, get this guy out of here. He's fucking giving us a bad name. They're always like, well, you haven't heard the whole story. Motherfucker. Yeah. I just hold, I just heard a whole multiple, story. <laughs> multiple accounts. Yeah. This is a fucking pattern of behavior and this bitch is still employed. And not only that, the circle of friends, the family is supporting this type of behavior. What the fuck are you guys on, man? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. I don't understand. Because in any other scenario, like any other workplace, you're working a corporate job. Someone is a terrible worker. You're like, yeah, I want this fucking person out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unless they're Nepo. <laughs> unless they're Nepo. Yeah. But that's, I mean, a similar situation. To this, this is I a guess. similar situation. God. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm glad they talked to someone. Uh, it sounds like they're making the Shout right out steps. to the professor. Oh, yeah. Being and resourceful. The professor's son? Who was that? Yes. Professor yep. and yeah. Professor Sun too for fucking doing the right thing too. Yeah. Um, that, you know, how disappointing is that, right? To have to call other towns hours away from where you're located just to seek help. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking disappointing. It is. It is. Shame on that whole city, to be honest. Yeah, I think there should be a definite audit on that. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, town. Um, in the county or town or whatever, yeah. Get there. Yeah.